here at the door of the business and they are doing their stuff and so ask them to be a little far because we really don't feel safe. Well, Newark business owners are fed up with people desecrating monuments in a city park, and they're putting up a fence to keep them out. Yeah, it's a move that's pitting two groups in the community against each other. Fox News' Teresa Priel is live at Peter Francisco Park with the back and forth. Teresa. Yeah, Natasha and Steve, the park behind me is clean, but that is because it is fenced off. As you can see behind me, the homeless that would normally be here have now been pushed out to side streets. Some businesses say they're happy that this fence is up. Some believe it's a violation of residents' rights. I think it helps a lot because, especially here in the business, we have uh, like people from all the ages coming out. And when they go to the classes, they feel more safe with these people you know, far from here. There's been a drastic improvement at the Zoni Language School thanks to an eight foot high wrought iron fence erected around the Peter Francisco Park on Ferry Street in Newark, a park that up until recently was filled with homeless. And Newarkers say they used it as their personal living quarters, including their very own bathroom. Sometimes they stop here at the door of the business and they are doing their stuff and so ask them to be a little far because we really don't feel safe. The fence went up under the direction of Councilmember Michael Silva, a member of the Ironbound Business Development District. He utilized city council funds to pay for it. The park is named in honor of a Portuguese veteran and thought to be a symbol of Portuguese pride in this part of Newark. The problem is the fence closes off the park to public use. Jeffrey Wilde is a trustee with the New Jersey Coalition to End Homelessness. To just shut down a park without addressing and any underlying problems is inhumane and the public has a right to use a public park. According to Wilde, the coalition opposes what they see as the infringement on taxpayers' constitutional rights. It is unconstitutional to remove people from public land if they have no other option. It is not criminal to survive. It is not criminal to sleep at night. To be clear, the fence hasn't solved the problem of homelessness. The unhoused have moved to Newark Penn and two other parks around the corner. Once the cops go to this side, they go to the back of the, the street. Um, when the cops are there, they come to here. So they, they are just, just yeah, it's like a game. I asked the Coalition to End Homelessness if they plan to sue the city or the business development uh, organization in order to reopen the park. They told me at this point that's not on the table. That's the latest from the Ironbound section of Newark tonight. Steve, back to you. All right. Thanks, Teresa.